Not sure if you've heard by now, but Blizzard has recently fucked up. They strayed from the ideals they used to uphold as a company in one catastrophic swoop. I'd ask you if you knew about the Blitzchung incident, but at this rate, I'd be surprised if your mum didn't know about it. Put simply, uh, Blizzard decided to prioritise its dictatorial stakeholders uh, by alienating loyal members of the community uh, to do so. It's important to note that these members of the community were supporting human rights. If that's not a statement, I don't know what is. Not only that, but they've gone as far as to censor criticism of the company's obvious stance on, on Hong Kong's protests for freedom by turning off comments and striking videos that criticised the company's current stance, such as Yong Ye's BlizzCon livestream, where he fairly criticised the company for uh, its less than stellar um, choice of actions. They've proven that they'd rather support dictatorial entities over the loyal community that have given them more than just money. The pathetic, empty, non-apologetic apology that was given out at BlizzCon was nothing but a boilerplate disingenuous betrayal of Blizzard's own morals. It wasn't an apology for us, it wasn't an apology for Blitzchung or the commentators or how they handled the situation. It was for the stakeholders, which is why they didn't support their words with actions. All they actually did was simply acknowledge the situation they're in using a similar self-aware technique that Todd Howard did back at E3. If you cheered for Blizzard's apology that day, you were fooled. You actually cheered for an exclusive industry. You cheered for a morally corrupt industry. You cheered for the beratement of human rights. However, Blizzard can still come to its senses by using the one game they have that imitates what they originally valued, Overwatch. Despite how you feel about Overwatch 2, its narrative is about a group of colourful individuals coming together to unite the world in harmony. Sounds pretty ironic, doesn't it? The first game's core gameplay doesn't exactly mirror the narrative directly, but Overwatch 2 promises to uh, parallel it even more so uh, with the use of narrative-driven co-op missions. My point is that Overwatch isn't just a game about pushing a payload from A to B, Nobody does that anyway. It's a story about acceptance and fighting for what's right. The array of characters that you can play as are insane. They are literally what separates Overwatch from the, the boundaries of stereotypes uh, and upholding the idea of uh, inclusivity for race, culture and ideology. For example, Farah is an Egyptian security chief who wants to do right by her mother. Doomfist is a Nigerian mercenary who wants to do right by his personal goals. And Mei is a Chinese climatologist who wants to do right by the world. These characters originate from different places and cultural backgrounds, which is why they contribute to highlighting the beauty of those races, cultures and ideologies. Every character in this game fights for their ideology to be considered in the working of the world around them, whether it's for the greater good or personal gain. Either way, it highlights the importance of taking everyone's idea into consideration and basing a conclusion of all the ideas involved. In the real world, it's virtually impossible to accommodate everybody, but that doesn't mean you impose your ideologies onto them. Overwatch is a narrative that has been designed with this inclusivity and relatability in mind and questions who you want to be as a person when the time calls for it. Even the majority of the animated shorts are based on the concept of humanity. Bastion overcomes his innate purpose to destroy the opposition and becomes at peace with the life that he does not have. Reinhardt puts his life on the line for others and learns the importance of humility. And Winston overcomes the world's perception of Overwatch and reinstates it for a greater purpose. Watch any of the trailers, especially the most recent Zero Hour one, and you'll see it for yourself. <laughs> it's quite ironic how Blizzard has a game in its repertoire uh, focused on good people from around the globe 
fighting for equal human and omnic rights when they go and ultimately practice the complete opposite. The exact inverse of the morals that Overwatch embodies. The higher-ups at Blizzard no longer share the same passion for video games as they once did. Every single aspect of Overwatch is filled with passion. The, the team, the gameplay, the story, the characters, the events, the post-launch support, the cinematics and especially the soundtrack. They are all the definition of passion. The Overwatch team haven't forgotten that passion and they never did. There's a reason why people watch the animated shorts and get emotional. There's a reason why people cheer when their favourite character comes on screen. There's a reason why people create communities based on their favourite games. Because passion breeds passion. And when your higher ups don't share that same passion as you do, you become Konami. There is so much behind Overwatch that Blizzard can help themselves, and with the announcement of Overwatch 2, it's the perfect opportunity for Blizzard to sort themselves out and stand for what they once stood for. What Overwatch stands for. Blizzard, you are on a collision course with the same iceberg Bethesda hit. You don't want that. We don't want that. You don't want to fall for the same trap the rest have. We don't want to see beloved companies that we once called home fall. But if we must, we will. However, you're not too far removed from where you currently stand. You've messed up, but all is not yet lost. Please advocate for an industry that stands alongside its community. Give a genuine apology. Rescind the wrongful decisions against the loyal fans who have honoured you for years. Support the rights of everyone regardless of who they are. If you continue down your current path, you will fail. You have a chance to redeem yourself before it's too late, before you forget the one thing that you did and should treasure the most. Your community.